Many here in the Middle East are still trying to make sense of these latest events. Iranian state media say there were explosions, drones shot down and air defence systems activated around the central province of Isfahan on Friday. A number of US broadcasters claim it was a targeted missile strike by Israel on military facilities in the country. Now, Isfahan is an industrial city with drone and missile manufacturers in the region, as well as a nuclear facility. In the hours after this attack, people took to the streets in an anti-Israel protest in Tehran, many marched with placards reading down with Israel. But leaders in the country have talked down this attack and said everyone is now safe and sound and not directly blamed Israel. Last night you witnessed that if suspicious flying objects appear in the country sky, they will not be spared from being the target of our power's defence. The objects were suspicious, and our defence system acted swiftly. Thank God there were no major issues. Now, Israeli officials are still remaining silent. There was a number of reports that the US were informed by Israel about this attack right before it happened, but White House officials are not weighing in. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was repeatedly probed on the topic at a G7 media conference in Italy. The United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again, it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions. Many are now hoping this is the end of an exchange of fire between Israel and Iran. Iran last weekend fired a barrage of missiles and drones at Israel in what it says was a retaliatory strike for the killing of two senior generals at a consulate in Damascus. Israel made it clear it would respond, but many are wondering if this reported attack is now the end of it. While the two states have fought through proxy groups and attacks on foreign soil, these direct strikes on enemy territory are unprecedented.